I think I finally found the perfect carry-on bag. Let's talk about it. Welcome, I'm Mark and this is Mark's Travel Time. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing by clicking my face in the corner ring that bell icon up above so you know when I post new videos. You see I have some bags here. A while back I did a few videos on carry-on luggage. Things you might want to be aware of and take into consideration. And I showed you what I carry in my carry-on. Now I have always been on the lookout for the perfect carry-on bag and I think I finally found it here. We're going to talk about why in just a minute. But I think you should understand that your carry-on is really going to be unique to you. Everybody has different needs. So hopefully I'll give you some insight here and you can take that information and do with it as you please. But I have three criteria that I absolutely need to meet if I'm going to buy a piece of luggage. And I've not found the perfect one yet until now. And I think this bag right here might be the perfect bag. Now, a couple of things, uh, three real quick ones. I need the bag to roll. Now, in that previous video, you notice that was an over-the-shoulder bag. And after a while, with all the travel I do, that was just getting to be too much. I was starting to feel it on my back as I'm always leaning to the side. I couldn't get through things as quickly. I was bumping into people and things. I just didn't like it as much. So I decided the next bag I get was going to be a roller board. The next thing I want to make sure of is that it has this sleeve. Now this sleeve in the back, I don't know well you can see it for the black bag, but this sleeve in the back allows this bag to be slid down onto the handle of another bag. So it slides right on top. That way, if I'm going through the airport and I have more than one bag, I can take one bag, slide onto the other, and I'm only pulling one bag rather than carting around two. Sometimes I check two bags and I have my carry-on. Now we've got three bags to deal with. So I want it to be a roll board and I wanted it to have that sleeve. The third thing, I want to make sure that it can fit my computer. This was the hardest thing because if you're shopping online, the way they designate computer sizes is always by a diagonal screen. The problem with that is all computers are not going to be the same size because some have wider and narrower borders around the screen. So I know that this is 15 inches across. Why do I need this size computer? Because I do a lot of video editing when I'm on the road and I want to have a larger screen. So when I finally found this bag, it wasn't perfect, but I liked it. It was, as you can see, a roller board. And it did have that sleeve and it fits this computer. So what's the problem with it? Well, one of the things is you'll see when I open this up, in order for it to fit the computer, there's no inside pocket that fits the computer. So I actually had to put the computer in the bottom of the bag and then I would strap it in with these straps, which is fine, except if I ever wanted to use that, for example, if I have a layover, everything else is piled on top of my computer. So it wasn't easy to remove. Now, even though I have TSA PreCheck, which means you don't have to take your computer out of the bag, when traveling in Canada, which I do frequently, they do require the computer to come out of the bag. So it was not very convenient. Also, these outside pockets I really need. I need to have accessible pockets. So that means the hard shell for me is out of the question. Now this is just one big pocket, as is this. So all I have are two pockets, uh, which was okay. I could put my iPad in here. I could put documents in here, cell phone, uh, passport, wipes, that sort of thing but it was all just kind of jumbled in there. And this is kind of a weird shaped zipper. So if I want to get something, I'd have to open it up to the top and now this side is open and exposed. So although I used this one for quite some time, it was not ideal. 
And finally, I found this shopping online, getting things, coming to the house, trying them out, finding ah, that doesn't work. And this one I just got, this is a uh, Wenger Granada Pro 15.6 inch wheeled laptop case is what it's called. And it fits my needs perfectly. So I'm gonna bring the camera over here and we're gonna look inside and see what I like about this so much. So one of the first things you see is all of these zippers are accessible from the top. And I just love that. Now when you look in here, boy, you compare that to my other video and the features are very similar. There's a lot of slotted pockets here. So I could put in rewards cards if I need to. Sometimes I like to just put my earbuds in there. We can have pens. You can have all kinds of things. This is a nice deep pocket. This pocket actually will fit my iPad. More on that later. This is perfect for an iPhone. And then as we look over here, you'll see there's another mesh compartment. Really nice and deep. So just for organization, if I want to keep a magazine reading material in here, if I want to keep my um, iPad in there, there are just so many things that can fit in this compartment. And that is just the front compartment. Now you see a smaller zipper right here. And I really like this because when I'm traveling internationally, I like the idea that I can put some travel documents like a passport in here. It's easy to access and easy to put away. When I'm not traveling internationally, I can put things like my wet wipes. I always want to wipe down my table, my chair, my armrest. Those planes are filthy. So I like those things accessible. And this bag is so nice in that all those things in front are so easily accessible. Whether I want to get to them when I'm getting on the plane, when I just get off the plane, or even during the trip. This next section, and all of these things kind of accordion fold. We have two padded pockets. So that could actually hold my iPad if I needed to, or books, or even, you know, this whole section could fit clothing, toiletries, anything at all that you would need on your trip. Maybe if you were to get stuck and miss a flight, have to stay in a hotel, you know, you have a change of clothes that would easily fit in here. One thing I just noticed, be really careful that there is, when it's open, there is a little hole here on either side because of the way it's constructed. So I wouldn't put any small loose items in this compartment, but that is really great. Now, the creme de la creme is this major section right here. Because this is where my laptop will fit. So as we look at this, look how easy that fits in. It is the perfect size for my laptop. And in this front pocket, I can put the power cords, chargers, anything I need related to my laptop. And I still have this whole side over here that has two mesh pockets that will allow for a lot of storage. Once again, I could put clothing in here or any number of things. So as you can tell, I'm really excited about this bag. But let me tell you one more thing that a lot of people don't think about. These two bags are almost exactly the same size. Look at that. They're almost exactly the same size. And to look at them, you would think, well, yeah, they're similar bags. Here is the problem that I encountered. I would find, particularly on smaller regional jets, they would always want me to gate check this bag. It's not a big bag. But because it is an upright roller board, it looks like it's bigger than it is. People at the gate, people in baggage, they would always assume this is a 22 inch roller board and it isn't. As a result, I found I, more often than I would like, 
they would make me gate check this bag on those smaller flights, even though I knew darn well, I know the planes I fly on, I knew this would fit in the overhead, but they would always take it from me. And that means I would have to take the things out that were fragile or the things I wanted on the plane. So I'd find myself walking in with an armful of stuff. I would have my laptop, I don't want that, in a soft side bag going through the luggage handlers. My camera was in there. And then just other things that I would want to have on board, earbuds, my wet wipes, all of that type of thing. And I got so sick of it because you cannot argue with the gate people. I mean, if they say you gate check this, I know darn well it fits, but there's no arguing with them because it'll just get you in trouble and you'd end up being on a viral video on YouTube, right? Even though this is the same size and I haven't tried it yet, I'm going to be going on my first trip tomorrow. I am almost, I can almost guarantee they will never ask me to gate check this. When I walk in with this, it looks more, I don't know, just like a, like a bag or a satchel or a computer bag. It is a rollerboard, but since it is the horizontal rather than the vertical rollerboard, it just seems like a smaller bag. So that was really a big reason for getting this. I was just tired of having to gate check this bag just because of its appearance. So as a real quick recap, the number one thing I needed was something that would fit my 15 inch computer. The next thing I needed was for it to be a roller board. The next thing I needed was for it to have that strap in the back. And I uh, everything above that is gravy. It's just icing on the cake. All of these compartments, the way that they are sorted out, it's going to give me so much ease and accessibility. It's going to give me a variety of options with how I pack. And I'm really excited about taking this one on the plane tomorrow. I am going to link those other two videos down in the description and you've probably been seeing them pop up on the corner of the screen. The thing to remember, however, is your luggage has to be suited to you. It's got to be adapted, tailored, and customized for your needs. Don't get this bag just because I say it's a good bag. It's the right bag for me. You have to get the bag that's right for you. And one of the most important things to remember, if they ever ask you to gate check, you have to very quickly be able to pull the things out of your bag that you want to have on the plane. And this bag will allow me to do that. What kind of bags do you travel with? And I'm talking now about your carry-on. If you don't have the perfect carry-on, what types of things are you looking for? Leave those comments down below. Please give me a thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed to the channel. And don't forget to click that, that bell up there. That tells you when I post new videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Mark, and this is Mark's Travel Time.